Hey, what's up YouTube? JJ Chershot here, and I want to tell you I'm super stoked about all the views that I got on the last video, um, and I hope that I can uh, continue with these videos to make them better for you uh, and give you an overall good experience with Halo Spartan Assault. Um, I, I think it's really awesome because I got 200 subscribers. I just hit 200 subscribers on my channel, um, and I'm super stoked about that because this is the first time I've ever really gone with a channel uh, for something like this. So I'm going to go ahead and start uh, Halo Spartan Assault Part 2. Um, so I'm going to click on Start, and you can see we're going under Operation Tempered Shield. Um, I don't know anything about this uh this part of the series or anything like that um, but I am pretty stoked because this is going to be my first time ever playing Operation Tempered Shield so I'm going to go ahead and play the Operation movie and I'll get back to you guys in a second the Spartan Davis continued fighting on the moon Spartan Palmer and a handful of UNSC troops redeployed to the surface of Dreyfus 5 to fend off the invaders there outman outgun Martin Palmer didn't see it as a problem. How about you? All right, awesome. So we just saw that Spartan Palmer uh, is, I believe, outmanned. Um, and that's going to be pretty cool to play through and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and start Operation Tempered Shield. All right, and this is Sage of Faraday. Uh, what I will be doing for the rest of this series is simply uh, scrolling through this little sidebar over here just so anyone that actually wants to read this, they can read this themselves. Um, but I'm just going to scroll through it, make it visible for you guys. You can pause, uh, read it for yourself, and there you go. So, alright, let's go ahead with B1. Oh my god, look at that. That's crazy just looking at all those, uh, I believe that's Banshees and Wraiths. Okay, cool. And I always forget that you're not actually starting the game um, right after you select and everything. So let's see. I've got 575 XP. Stun Blast. A place charge that stuns hostile infantry in a radius. This is pretty cool that they're introducing new armor abilities and everything. I want to see what Seeker Drone does. An explosive homing drone. Alright, so, well, I guess I'll just use a uh, stun blast. Actually, you know what? I'm going to be using auto sentry in this, uh, in this specific uh, section of the game and everything because I do want to show you guys how this works. And it's personally my favorite uh, ability in Halo Spartan Assault. I'm going to set up with famine. And again, you can see I get an XP bonus of 1.5. Let's see. That's all I'm going to use for right now, just because <laughs> I'm still a noob. I don't know uh, exactly how this game works. Completely different than an FPS game. Okay, so mission B1. Prevent the Covenant from destroying the blast doors. Here we go. Oh my god, this looks gorgeous. Wow. What's this over here? Oh. Holy crap! I don't even have to do anything. They're just they're just blowing up. Oh, they're the suicide ones. I gotcha. <laughs> That's hilarious. Alright, come on, buddy. Alright, now watch this. I'm gonna use the auto sentry. Boom! Oh, he's so awesome. Oh my god, that almost killed me. Still grenade. I don't have any grenades. Yes, I do. That was stupid. <laughs> I just ran up to a grunt and punched him as he just seems like. Okay, prevent the Covenant from breaking through the doors. No! No! Holy crap, I hope I don't fail this first mission. Wow, this is actually pretty difficult, to be honest. It's hard to tell because in an FPS, uh, when you're first person and everything, 
when you're looking at the grunts coming at you, you can tell the distance uh, a little bit more clearly. And in this, although yes, you can see them from a top-down view, uh, it doesn't feel like it's as much danger. I'm just gonna punch that guy. Alright, I'll just I keep forgetting to use them. Alright, so uh, thanks guys for being a part of the channel and everything. Um, I hope you're enjoying the Halo Spartan Assault videos that I currently got on the channel. Um, this is my first playthrough ever of any game being recorded. Um, so I hope I'm offering a good experience to you. And I hope that I can do a better job in the future too. That was, that was not as hard as I thought it was going to be. Mission accomplished. I thought that was going to go on for so much longer. 67,000. Alright, cool. 150 XP. Alright, reactor field relief. <laughs> That's pretty cool looking at the, uh, the Banshee being chased by rockets or missiles. Alright, so you guys can read through this if you'd like. There you go, you can pause the video and check through all that and everything. Um, we're on B2. Let's do this. I'm going to try and get 200,000 points. Uh, I'm probably going to fail doing it though. Oh my god, SMGs. Oh, that's so exciting. I get to play with SMGs again. It's like Halo 3 all over again. Uh, I'm not going to do a shield booster. Dual SMGs, that's crazy. So I guess Halo Spartan Assault has dualies. <laughs> Alright, defend the Wolverine squadrons. Oh my god, he's got dualies. Oh, that's so wicked. I miss this so much. Holy crap, what did I just do? I have no clue what I just did. Kind of freaked me out. Alright, let me change my pistol, because I don't really want the pistol. I want a shotgun. Shotguns are so powerful in this game. That's weird. <laughs> Alright, there we go. 30 bullets. And I'm just going to roam around a little bit, too, when there's not as much uh, crazy stuff going on. So right now, you can see there's really nothing. You can see there's this barrier. Can't get past it, which, you know, kind of sucks. Um, but at the same time, it's it's all good. You can't fall off the map. You can't jump off or anything. It prevents you from doing that. Is that a scorpion? Oh, I hope I... I didn't even realize that was a scorpion. I hope I can use that. All right, so let's do this. Uh, reach the first group of wolverines. Aren't, weren't wolverines in uh, Halo Wars? That's one of the games I didn't really play as much as I probably should have. Um, but I do like the story of Halo Wars. Let's see. I'll tell you right now, I like this so much better than uh, Halo Wars. There you go. What's up, buddies? I gotta defend these guys. Alright, I'm guessing B, uh, part B of this series, is all about defending. I found out the hard way that you can't, uh, you can't run into the flames. Oh my god. These flames are awesome. God, I can't believe we've got dualies again. This is totally going over on Halo 4 fans as a, uh, as a Halo 3 tribute. <laughs> no. Oh, 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 I'm on fire. Okay, I'm not dead. Crap. I guess there's a, 
a distance thing with it, or a distance problem with the SMGs, which is actually pretty cool. The fact that we can tell how far the bullets actually reach. Um, you couldn't really tell exactly how far bullets could reach in the other Halo games, and I think that's a uh, that's pretty awesome with um with Spartan Assault. Where are these guys at? Reach the second group of Wolverines. This is the second group, right? Oh no! Come on, Elite. No, buddy. I'm gonna kill my friends. I'm about to run out of ammo in this thing. Oh, I'm pulling out the shotgun. I'm have some fun. Ooh. One thing that is a uh, definitely a twist. I can't say boom headshot because <laughs> I I can't really aim directly at someone's head in this game. Up oh, there they are. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, I want to check out what this uh, armor ability does. What? Dude, that's crazy. That's like the uh the plasma pistol almost, except it works on people. You know, it'd be really interesting if they're actually trying out a lot of these armor abilities to see what people like in order to uh add more armor abilities into Halo 5. I could definitely see some things being taken from this game and put into a game like Halo 5. Which we don't even know if it's going to be called Halo 5 now that I think about it. Since they're trying to call it Halo Xbox One. I really hope that's not the game title. I, I have extreme doubts that that's the game title, but you never know. But I will say some good news. Um, I watched the uh, the Halo panel at um, San Diego Comic Con, and uh, I think it was Frank O'Connor. I'm not doing a very good job of defending these guys. Frank O'Connor actually mentioned. Uh, one that they have thoughts of bringing this to the uh, to Xbox 360 or to the Xbox Marketplace, maybe Xbox One. I don't know for sure. I just got owned, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> and get back to this in just a second. All right, guys. So what I can tell from this so far is that there is. There's no checkpoints for this game, um, which is pretty interesting. So if I do end up dying, that means I have to uh, pause the gameplay and just uh, restart back over and try and reach back to where I was. So hopefully this is around the point I was, but it is. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. With uh, At San Diego Comic Con, Frank O'Connor actually mentioned that they're considering or they, they have thoughts of bringing this to... Uh, to uh, Xbox Live, so on the Xbox Marketplace for um, Xbox 360, maybe Xbox One, I don't know for sure which one he was actually referring to, uh, but I thought that was pretty awesome, something um, that could be pretty cool for you guys that, that do not have a Windows 8 phone or a Windows 8 uh, device, you know, maybe you don't have a Windows 8 uh, PC, you know, a lot of people are still using Windows 7, and um, I actually really enjoyed Windows 7, but Windows 8 is uh, it's definitely catching on to me. Alright, let's see, I, I need some ammo. Also realize back here, if you just stand next to this for a little bit, uh, your ammo just recharges. So there we go, I've got 300. Oh my god, they're gonna hurt me! And some other cool news um, in Halo. Uh, was at the, the Comic Con. Franco, Con someone at the Comic Con during the Q and A, actually asked about a uh, 
an open world Halo game. And Frank O'Connor uh, said that it's something that they talk about all the time, and that they actually have they they would love to do it. Um, it's just that they haven't. Uh, they don't. I don't believe they have the resources yet. I think it's something that they're considering, um, but they just haven't done yet. Let's see if I can hit 200,000. Oh, I was 50,000 off. You can tell I'm, I'm definitely a, uh, a silver star in this game. I got 150 XP. Let's continue on. Um, but that is pretty cool that th there could be a Halo game that could be completely open world. Maybe like a an MMO RPG, something like that. Um, maybe it could be something similar to that of of Destiny. You know, I, I don't really know what direction they're thinking of when they actually say that. Uh, but Frank O'Connor did mention um, that if they were to do that, it would be a lot different than the first person shooter that we're used to. Uh, at least that's one of the things he stated. I don't know if he's going to hold true to that. But All right, so let's go ahead with B3. Uh, you can see we've got a lot of guys coming in and everything on me. Uh, hunt for... Uh, I'm probably going to say this wrong. Hunt for the Sengali Command. I probably said that wrong. <laughs> uh, but it's all good. And for anybody that wants to read this, here you go. Let's go ahead and scroll that down. You can pause the video and read that. And I'll go ahead and continue. Alright, so we're back to the Assault Rifle. But I do have a secondary of a shotgun this time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and keep the regen field. Uh, just because I, I totally do not want to die. Um, and while I'm at it, nah, I'm not going to do shield booster. I'll hold that in case I don't get sh uh, region field next. Alright, here we go. Alright, mission B3. Find and kill the Covenant Elite Commanders. Oh, this is awesome. I love having the elites back. Oh, dude! What's up, guys? Oh! Getting owned! Oh, this is... I, I forgot I was using the... Uh, the assault rifle. Assault rifle and SMGs completely different. There was a needler back there too. I actually want to try that out real quick. Oh, it shoots really slow. Eh, I'm not going to use it. I don't have enough ammo for it yet. Alright, so again, on the mini map, we can see where they're coming from. So, see, they're coming over here. Oh, the elites! Come on, buddy, you're going down. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I'm totally gonna get in that. Let's see if I can actually. No, it's a waste of time now. Dang it. It's over here. Hey, right, I hope these recordings are good for you guys. Hope, uh, hope you're enjoying it. I'm gonna mention that a few times just because, um, I want to make sure I'm giving you the best experience I can for Halo Spartan Assault. So far, I would definitely recommend this game. Um, it's something that I would probably more so play in my spare time, uh, while Halo, Halo 4 and the other FPS games, um, I would play a little bit more seriously and more consistently. Um, but when I do have free time, this is a game that, that I would definitely return to. Um, holy crap, that was awesome. It's definitely worth the $7, I mean, come on never been a game that cheap for uh, in the Halo universe. Which, come to think of it, oh, I'm about to get in. Which, come to think of it, um, Halo universe would be the, in my opinion anyways, um, the perfect name for an open world FPS um, for Halo. You know, Halo universe, that sounds, it, it sounds perfect. It's what we're playing in, we're playing in the Halo universe, so why not just incorporate it into the uh, into an open world game so if you guys want to leave a comment below this video telling me what you think um, would be your uh, your favorite name for a halo um, open world game that would be pretty cool I'll even share some of those with um, the halo fans on uh, halo 4 fans on Facebook which, for some people, you might not know, I actually administrate that page. And I created it a month before Halo 4 came out. Um, and I'm very grateful for all the fans we've acquired over there. Uh, 
And I'm very grateful for all the subscribers I've gotten on the channel uh, just in the last week. I mean, we're already up to 200 subscribers on the channel. So I just want to just want to thank you guys for that. Um, if you could, go ahead and share these videos with your friends. Um, anyone that you know that likes Halo, share these uh, Spartan Assault videos with them. Especially if they don't have a Windows uh, PC or Windows Phone. That way they can actually see what they're missing out on if they, if they want to buy it. I would definitely suggest it though. This map is huge. I wish I had speed boost. What is that? What, is, what are they doing there? Alright, I want to try this uh, this armor ability out. Is that invisibility? Oh! <laughs> That's hilarious! <laughs> you can just see my shotgun, that's it. It definitely doesn't last as long as uh, usual armor abilities do. Let's see what this one does. This might actually be that EMP blast. Yeah, it is, and I like it. Aside from the sentry gun, uh, the EMP blast is definitely my favorite so far. Alright, let's own this guy. You know that's the guy I'm supposed to own. Oh, here he is. Oh! Come on, buddy. I do not want to die. <laughs> he just got owned. Aww, I can't just jump over there. I can see it. Alright, so being a top-down shooter and everything definitely changes the roles of uh, of how the game is played. I mean, you would think I would have been able just to jump over that little barrier right there. Oh, he's over here. Nah, you're going down. Everything. I just realized that did not take that out. Holy crap. Yeah, you guys want to see some accurate grenade throws? <laughs> Just play this game. Look at that, look. <laughs> I don't know if you can stick them, though. I, I can't tell if I, if I am sticking them or not. Let's actually try that. I've only got three more shotgun shells. Alright, let's do this. Alright, okay, I totally aimed and it, I thought it would have stuck him, um, but it didn't. But I did destroy him. Fall back to the extraction point. I'll grab these grenades really quick just in case. Oh crap, I don't have any more bullets. I need your weapon. Alright, here's a needler. See this buddy explode. Oh, he didn't explode. That's all good. Run in, run in, run in. There we go. Mission accomplished. Yeah, I'm totally all for the, uh, the silver stars. Oh my god, I almost didn't get it. That would have been embarrassing. The fact that I just said that I was for the Silver Stars, and then I almost did not get it. <laughs> Alright, so I got 150 XP for that one. Um, which I'm just going to take a guess. Uh, from estimating everything, that means that that mission was actually worth 100 XP. Uh, since I had the 1.5 multiplier. Um, oh my god, I think we're going to be able to play in the Scorpion. So, batter, Battle for Epsilon Expanse. Alright, so we're going to be using the assault rifle again. We've got a hologram. I'm going to get the shield booster this time. Let's do this. Alright, mission B4. Cross the bridge and destroy the mega turrets. I love when people use mega. Mega chaos. Ooh, I should go back here and see what weapons there are. I love the starting points because there's so many weapons you get to choose from. There's 
There's so a tank over there. I want to get inside this and see what it's like. Oh, it's gorgeous. I'm not going to use it, though. I'm going to be a badass and do this on my feet. I hope I get to ride the, uh, the scorpion tank, though. Which uh, is something else that was mentioned at Comic-Con. Um, they, uh, they're actually going to be updating this game. That's what I heard. Uh, don't hold that as a fact yet, because I don't know if it's, it's completely true, but I believe it's what I heard at Comic-Con. Um, is that they're going to be updating this game with more weapons uh, and more vehicles. So, I'm going to take a guess that it's very likely that we could see the Warthog appear. Um, maybe the Mongoose. not be getting in this. Okay, here goes. Oh, I'm getting I'm gonna get owned in this. Let's see how far I can get. This is total destruction. Alright I'm getting out so I can get in that one. I don't want to die <laughs> as soon as I started the game. Let's get us some stickies. There we go. It's funny, I'm taking the race, uh, <laughs> but you would think I would have a tank right now. Unless, of course, I was able to actually get in the tank. So great to have grunts back. So easy. And funny to look at. <laughs> Alright, let's just destroy everything over here. Hopefully I can destroy that with this. Oh, what you doing, buddy? Alright, oh, I just killed my buddy. Luckily, your uh, your troops actually respawn. Oh, they don't want to get over there with this, unless I can blow these up. Nah, it doesn't seem like they can. Yeah, but if they uh, currently from what I know, what I've heard, is that there's only a few vehicles in this game. So you've got the Wraith, I believe you can ride the Ghost, um, I see you. Uh, and really other than that, other than flying vehicles that take you from the extraction points, I don't, I don't know if there are any other, other vehicles. Maybe the Mongoose, but I, I, I believe they said that the, uh, the Warthog is currently not in the game. Um, but it is pretty cool that they'll be adding more to the actual uh, to the actual gameplay. Let's destroy this. I'm gonna take a guess this now. Plant bombs at the mega turrets. Oh, there we go. Oh my God! Get out of there, guys! No! Oh no! <laughs> he just sat there and took it. Yeah, we don't die, we just respawn. Now let's do this again. Reach the scorpions, yeah! Total chaos is about to occur. I'm just gonna run and gun my way all the way there. Unless, of course, there's no, uh, no enemies this way. Which doesn't look like there are. Oh, there we go. They pulled him in close. Mission accomplished. So I'm going to guess that the next mission we actually get to ride the scorpion. So let's just fly through this. Uh, final score. Oh, man. I didn't even get a silver star. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Hopefully you're better at this game than I am. 
Um, hopefully you're actually getting the gold stars. I, I believe I've only ever gotten one so far. Got 75 XP that game. All right, here we go. I hope we get to ride the scorpion. That's what it looks like. Looks like we're going to be going up against wraiths, uh, which you can also see right here on the battlefield. And it says battle at red slate. And this is B5. Just going to scroll down so you can see this. All right, and we're going to be using the assault rifle with a shotgun. And we've got sprint again. Thank you. Uh, increases the Spartan Shield's recharge rate. I'm not going to be using uh, a booster just because I guess I'm going to be inside of a scorpion, hopefully. Let's see if there's anything else up here. Spartan only has a shield. Shields and armor deplete when firing a weapon. Shields only recharge from melee attack enemies. Alright, I'm going to use this. I'm going to get a 3.5 uh, XP rate. Hopefully I can actually do this since it is the last mission. And hopefully we're going to be in a scorpion most of the mission. Um, so that these two don't have that much of an impact. Uh, but let's go ahead. Mission B5, find and destroy all wraiths. Oh yeah. <laughs> Immediately we got in the, in the wraith, or the, uh, the tank. Oh, this is confusing to operate. Oh, I get it. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing my happy dance. Alright, so I'm, I'm using the keyboard in order to to control where I'm going. And then I use the, um, the mouse to understand where to aim. What's going on, buddy? Oh, nothing's in that one, I think. Oh, that was a ghost! Oh, I still want to ride it too. It's all good. Now nah, you're going down. Destruction. Oh, there's a ghost! Okay, there we go. Uh, what do you guys, for a Halo Universe type game, what do you want to see? You know, go ahead, leave a comment below. Tell me what you would name a, a Halo, an open world Halo game. What do you think would be a cool name? Uh, but also, go ahead and share what you'd like to see in an open world um, Halo game. If you'd like it just to be an FPS game, maybe have a, a Destiny type feel to it, you know, we don't really know what's going on with Destiny yet. Um, but let me know in the comment section below, uh, and I'll share some of those thoughts on Halo 4 fans and Halo 5 fans on Facebook. I'm totally about to get in, I need another, uh, another tank. Alright, using the, uh, the keyboard to operate this, Totally confusing. Alright, so I believe there's two rays left. Let's hope there's a tank over here. I think it was to our right. Oh, oh. Yeah, it is to our right. There we go. That would have been a sucky way to die. Oh, and they're riding on my tank. That's awesome. I don't even know if they, they actually did that in, um, in Halo 4. I, I don't know if they actually rode on the tank. <laughs> I just shot my buddy. My bad, dude. <laughs> and we actually have to destroy the race completely, apparently. Alright, here we go. Alright, so I gotta get over to these wraiths down here. 
see him on my mini map. Oh, this is really hard to operate on the uh, on the computer. To be real with you guys. Structures are a little confusing because I don't know where I can go and where I can't go. But it's still pretty cool. I mean, operating the tank, um, I, I would say I, so far I prefer the Wraith. Um, but the tank is pretty cool too. There we go. Achievement unlocked, switched on. And I believe that's actually an achievement on Xbox Live, so that's pretty wicked. Final score. I'm going to get a silver medal. Almost got a gold medal. Uh, 350 XP, tons of rewards. Even though the battle was going in the Spartans' favor, Dratheus V had a surprise in store. Its moon wasn't a moon at all. It was a forerunner creation designed to build and destroy entire planets. Nobody knew about this until the Covenant cult leader found a way to reactivate the old forerunner tech and start disassembling Dratheus V. It was Spartan Davis's job to shut down the device. Holy crap, that looked awesome. Uh, so in the next part of uh, Halo Spartan Assault, I'm going to be doing Operation uh, Monolith. So I'm super stoked about that. Go ahead, you'll be able to see a, uh, a video will appear right here when that's actually available, or you can subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's a subscription link below this video, and also leave a comment telling me what you would like to see in a Halo Universe type game. You know, what would you like to see in that? Would you like to see it to be completely FPS, where you're just running around, just killing everybody with sniper rifles? I would definitely think a game like that would be a uh, more sniper rifle oriented, more long range. Um, or would you like it to be uh, something like a top down view or something else? You know, go ahead, leave a comment below. Tell me what you like to see in a Halo Universe type game, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.